When I say I'm addicted to art supplies, friends, I mean it. And so today I'm giving you a peek at an eBay plus a bunch of other places haul of my latest finds and you need to see this. Yeah, so I have this obsession with vintage watercolor tins like big time, girl crush, fangirling, all the things. That's me and watercolor tins. Maybe I need to get a life. Anywho, I just got a major haul. I have these moments throughout the year where I get on eBay and I go down the rabbit hole of all the pretty things. And then a few days, weeks later, my mailbox is overflowing. And so yeah, this is one of those days where all the stuff started to arrive and I just needed to share it with someone. And I'm gonna give you a little bit of a teaser because you need to stick around. There is one palette in this haul that blew my ever loving flipping mind and I ended up painting with it. And you're probably like, great, Christy, you painted with a palette, but so you don't understand. So typically these vintage watercolor tins are filled with really junky, gross, old watercolor paint and it's all falling apart and some of it's rusted and I usually just pop them out, throw them out. Well, friends, one of them came in and it was pristine, but I'm not going to tell you anymore. You're just going to have to stick around. It's so unbelievable. Okay, friends, I'm going to cheat a little bit because this set came in like two weeks ago, but I still wanted to show it to you. So if you saw my recent video about my favorite professional watercolor brands, I mentioned Schmenka and this is their student grade watercolor collection called Academy. And these are their icy colors. I cannot wait to try it. Okay, next up friends, this is something I've been waiting for. It came all the way from Hawaii. This is my new palette from a brand called Ocean Paper. Just found out about them. Don't even know how I bumped into them on Instagram, but it's a handmade watercolor brand. And these colors, are so cool. I cannot wait to get into these. Okay, uh, these aren't watercolors, but yeah, surprise, surprise, I'm going to Disney in a few weeks. Oh my gosh, I'm terrified, the crowds. But anywho, those are some of my ears. Okay, we're getting into it now. These are a few of the vintage tins. This one, the red, the 32 color. Oh my gosh. Now this is pretty classic of what the interior of a vintage watercolor tin looks like. Pretty junky. That one's going in the trash so that I can use this tin for a new set. And let me show you how I pop these out. I just take something sharp edged and I just kind of get in there and dig out this tray and it comes out pretty easily usually. Just be careful, they can be really sharp. I can't believe these were for children, like, ah! Yeah, not good. Okay, this next one I love so much. I actually keep my Mission Gold in something very similar to this, but it's a lot larger and it's just very cumbersome. So when I saw this size, I was pretty excited. So same dealio, the interior tray is just trash getting rid of that. I feel like I should almost keep those little squares of color though. I feel like we could do something really fun with the pigment. Anywho, that's for another video, another day. Okay, next, next, next. There's two tins in this package, one of which I'm super excited about. The other, the big one, was a complete impulse buy and I kind of feel like I'm gonna regret it because who in the world needs a vintage watercolor tin that is literally like almost two feet wide? I don't know. Maybe I do. Moving on, let's take a look at this big bad boy. Uh, oh my, oh my gosh. Okay, first of all, the condition of this tin is incredible. It's sturdy. One thing that happens with these tins, I don't know whether the metal's getting brittle or what, they start to get super like wobbly and weird. And this one is so strong and, and look at the interior. It's like never been used. Okay, I'm getting a little excited right now because I've actually never gotten my hands on a vintage watercolor tin that's been in this good of condition. I may have to paint with this one. I am definitely not throwing away that tray. Okay, now this is the palette that I really wanted. It's got this cool like pastel -y vintage circus scene on it. And I've never seen this particular tin and the size is just perfect. It's like a nine by six, something like that. Maybe it's more like a 10 or 11 by six, but it's just a really lovely, perfect size. So excited and 
I don't even know what's happening. This Etsy seller, I need to like become BFFs because look at the condition of this one pristine again friends i cannot say this enough they never are this perfect not even close all right let's see what we got here next i'll tell you what these ebay sellers for the most part really know how to package their stuff okay wait wait, wait. i've got to get in character for this one friends hold the phone okay yeah feeling better got my ears on because here is a little bit of a Donald Duck Disney palette. Okay, friends, I will tell you what, I'm not like Disney crazy, but I'm trying to get into the spirit of things given this trip is coming up. I'm pretty nervous about it, but you know what? This little Donald Duck palette's making me feel better about life. Okay, this one is also in pristine condition and it's from a different seller. So Somebody tell me what's going on right now because my mind is a blown. And look at usually these tins, you have to deal with some warping because they're old and they get weird. This one's perfect. Holy crow, moving on. Okay, friends, I'm painting with this little bad boy. This is a German palette. From the description on eBay, it's from the 1950s, made in Germany. And when I tell you I have never seen a palette in such pristine condition i this this oh a vintage palette that is i i'm i kid you not like i'm almost like dumbfounded you can tell because i'm tripping over my words holy moly okay so i have to paint with this one and can i just tell you i have never painted with the pigments that have come with these vintage tins ever i never felt inspired to because they're always just kind of really junky and gross um but this one Friends, like pristine, I can't even. And they've got this really cool imprint on each of the little palette paint cake things. Yeah, okay, getting my sketchbook out and let's get to this. Friends, I, I cannot wait. The color is really nice, slightly opaque, but not really. They seem to mingle nicely with one another. I don't see a lot of like awesome dispersion with these. You know, they're not like exploding like crazy into one another, but the color's really pretty. And that coral in particular, that's just below the bright red on the right hand side of the palette, that is like really cool and makes me want to design a handmade watercolor pigment, copying that color exactly. Anywho. I digress. I'm really excited and I'm also really torn right now because I have this cool tin, right? But I don't want to take the colors out of it. So I don't know, should I just keep the whole tin as is and just paint with it? Clearly my creative brain is like in a death spiral, but like a good death spiral, if that could be a thing, but you know what I mean? I'm just really happy right now. So I'm in my sketchbook and friends, I've got a video coming up for you about sketchbooks and how I feel about them because this is my first sketchbook in like 15 years, but I've been enjoying my sketchbook. And right now is a reason why, because I can get in here and be super stupid about my watercolor and super experimental, which is really what I'm doing. And, you know, recently it was the big commercial Valentine's Day. And so depending on when you're watching this, you might be like, um, seriously, you're painting something that looks like a Valentine? Yes, yes, I am. I'm sorry. So friends, I am experimenting with a little bit of my spin on a vintage Valentine. And it just felt like these colors made sense for that. And so in my sketchbook here, that's what I'm doing. And I'm still reeling over the fact that I'm painting with 70 year old watercolors and they are actually really cool and really nice and super inspiring. So I don't know, friends, you tell me at this point, would you purchase a vintage watercolor tin? And if you did, would you keep the paints or would you toss them or what would you do? I'm super curious and I'd love to know if you're enjoying this video and if you are, you know what to do. Okay, here we go, friends. I just hope you've enjoyed this super, super random, sporadic stream of creative consciousness thing that I offered you up today. A little peek into the crazy that is my life and my obsession with all the things watercolor. So friends, get the conversation going below. Let me know what cool finds you've discovered with watercolor. So I'm purposely trying to use 
most of the colors. I wanted to leave a few unsprayed so that imprint kind of remained. I'm a little nostalgic about that, but I'm going in using a bunch of different brushes. Now I'm using pencil over top to see how it plays. And I'm gonna let this hang out in the sun too for a little while. I wanna see like, I don't know, is this stuff light fast? Is it gonna disappear really quickly? Like this is really old student grade watercolor but from Germany, so I don't know. Anywho, I'm just experimenting. Okay, friends, this has been a blast. Now, if you're really enjoying this whole experimental vibe with the floral, I want you to head on to this video and see what I did with some even crazier supplies. Don't miss it. Head on over. Happy painting, friends.